Hello guys and girls, welcome to my Vespa tips and tricks and today the Vespa GTS 300 how to replace the battery. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a tamper proof bit and you're going to need a pretty large Phillips screwdriver and you're going to need your brand new battery. Obviously check with your local dealer or just check online, make sure that you order the right one. So this is my Vespa GTS 300 here. Just to prove that it is that, which I know it is, because there it is. Right, let's get cracking. Right, so the battery is under this panel. And you've got four tamper-proof bits on the corners of there. So you just, I mean, it's basically like a star-shaped tool. So to, just to get them undone, just get a ratchet, just to get them moving, obviously anti-clockwise to undo. So just get them a little bit loose, I wouldn't go mad on that, and I'm just going to speed this up because you don't need to seal this. Once you've got them a little bit loose, you can just do it with your fingers. So I'm just going to whip them off with my fingers and let's speed this up again because we don't need to see this at normal speed, otherwise we will be here all day. Right, let's go. Okay, so once you've got all four of those screws out, you can just li gently lift up the panel. And there is the battery. And you've got basically um, a battery cover over the top of it just to stop it moving. So you need to remove that and then obviously remove the battery terminals. So I'm just gonna come around the other side of the Vespa and get cracking. So you've got a Phillips screwdriver there on the negative and a Phillips screwdriver there on the positive. And then that's the um, just the case to stop it moving about, which is screwed down as well. So my advice is just get a dirty old rag or a clean rag. And once you've got the, um, the terminal off, the first one, make sure you wrap it in the rag because what you don't want to do is take one of the um, bolts off on the terminals. The battery obviously is still trying to pump out electricity and you could get a short or a spark. So just make sure once you've taken it off, just wrap it up in the cloth there. So let's just get these undone. Obviously you don't have to use an electric screwdriver, you can use any old screwdriver. So let me just gently lift this one off and I'm just gonna wrap it up in this old t-shirt. Just for my own peace of mind really, I, mean, I just don't want any sparks flying anywhere because we don't want sparks flying. I mean, you, we get sparks flying when I walk into a pub, but that's another story. Right, let's get the positive lead off and again obviously now it's all completely um, off the battery there's no need to put it wrap it up but I'm just going to do that anyway right now we need to get the um, the kind of cover off of off of the top and this is just again Phillips screwdriver same I use the same bit this is just uh, plastic This is basically just to stop the battery moving around, really. Okay, so this will just lift off now. And that is it, the battery is ready to be removed. So I'm just gonna um, go around the other side again. And really you need two hands for this, but I'm gonna Try it with one hand because it's not too heavy. Come on! Yes, here we go. And make sure you take the old battery to your local recycling centre. Do not put your old battery in the bin, whatever you do, because we need to look after this planet. Okay, and it, it sits in there in a small plastic tray. And you can see it's a very disappointing, this vest, but it's only four years old. We have got rust problems. I mean, it's very low mileage mine, it's only four years old. What you can also do is just take out this tray, 
which the battery sits in, it's only plastic, and you can see the rust that I've got. I mean, I'm, my Vespa is low mileage. I've, there's another link above about how to treat this rust and how to sort it out right now. Anyway, won't worry about this at the particular minute. So here is my brand new battery that I've purchased. This will all be fully charged and this is ready to go in. Obviously I put the plastic tray um, back in and then put the battery back in. Make sure you put it in the right way round. And then basically it is a reversal of what you did when you took it out. So we just need to get those leads back on. And again, let's just uh, speed this process up. Now, obviously be careful if you've got an electric screwdriver, never just go straight in with the electric, always start tightening it manually first, because what you don't want to do is cross thread anything. So if you cross thread, cross thread something, that is going to be a nightmare. So just always do it manually first. Once you can feel it biting, it's going in, then you can use the electric. So that's the positive one on doesn't have to be mega tight just you know reasonably tight let's get the positive one on I mean the negative here we go right that's lined up on the threads just get this one on Okay, right, let's get the, um, the cover back on. This can only go on one way. You'll see where the holes are, it can literally, so you can't get this the wrong way around. So just line it up with those holes there and then just get those screws back in. Obviously be very careful when you're um, putting the screws into those holes, don't drop them because then it will disappear and you have to take it all out again. So, Okay, right, just line it up, get it going with your fingers. Once you've got it going with your fingers, then you can just uh, tighten it up with your screwdriver. Right, let's tighten this up. Okay, here we go. That's all done. This one is a slightly awkward angle, so just be careful there you don't um, thread it. Right, that's nice and tight. The battery is solid, so let's get the lid on. So I'll just come back around the other side again. So just line up those holes. It should just go straight on. All the holes already lined up. And let's get these four screws back in. And I'm going to speed this up. And then once we've tightened it all up, just obviously hand tighten it. And then just for the final bit, use your ratchet, but don't over tighten them. No need to over tighten them. Just a small turn on there just to uh, make sure they don't fall out. Right, next thing to do is just make sure it's all working and let's start it up. Let's fire up this beast. So you can see 2,700 miles, kilometers it's done, and I've got rust problems. I mean, it's garaged all the time. Very disappointing the workmanship underneath. And it's not covered under warranty by Piaggio either. As I say, there's that link earlier about how to treat the rust. So there it is. Good job. Great job. Probably should replace the battery every four or five years. Hello everybody, Lurgs here. That is the end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe down here. And if you'd like to watch any other videos around the edge, that would also be awesome. And I really, really do appreciate you watching my video and checking out my channel. So once again, thank you very much and see you around.